The mere act of being asked to be a part of this opera has thrown open more doors than I could have possibly imagined. I'm being given opportunities left, right and centre and I'm, I'm being afforded an opportunity to pursue a great dream that I've had since as long as I can remember. It's, it's truly extraordinary. If I thought about five years ago if I would be doing this, I, I would not have imagined it. I didn't even know I had an opera voice or a, a, a beginning of an opera voice until I did the spring intensive. I never considered it, I guess. In 2007, I began a program of uh, national auditions, basically putting it out there and saying to people from the Aboriginal community, come and sing for me. Over 170 singers came. Every single one had a voice. Not every single one would be suited to training classically for one reason or another. I saw an email at my work, I used to work for the Department of Community Services, Child Protection, and I saw this email about auditions, I thought, oh wow, I know my sister would be interested in that. And I thought, you know, I'd like to do something like that too, but I'll ring my sister and she was like, yeah, let's do it. So I, I was really taking my sister along and I got there to the audition, I was thinking, oh, well I'm here, I may as well have a go too. So my sister auditioned and then Deborah came out and I said, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm here to audition as well. And she said, yeah, come in. And before I knew it, I got a role in Peak and Summer. I was like, wow, this is a beautiful world to be a part of. But I found 15 people in all. They come here, they train at the VCA. We connect them with the very best uh, tutors and teachers in all the various areas of study that you need to bring together a career in opera. And five of them are studying here in Melbourne. The other ten are studying in the various states around Australia. But once or twice a year they come here for intensive period of training. Those who are at a point in their life where they can enter into tertiary study to train as classical vocal uh, musicians, then we assist. Deborah came along and offered me this role and I said, well look, you know, really, I." I haven't sung for 10 years. And she said, oh no, 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 that's fantastic. I'm going to cast you and you're going to be in this role and, and I'd like you to have a think about uh, some of the opportunities that might be available here at the Victorian College of the Arts even. Lo and behold, I found myself a couple of months later auditioning and being accepted by the Victorian College of the Arts and moving on to study a Bachelor of Music Performance. Now I'm currently just finishing off my third year now and I'll have my degree, fingers crossed, in a couple of months. So it was a huge uh, thing for me to be able to be part of this opera and to have someone like Deborah Clean believe up. in me that I could do Alondra it. E Alondra e I had to make a lot of sacrifices and, and my wife was a part of that and my little girl and you know, but I want her to grow up and think, hey, I've heard Dad sing opera. It's not uh, a strange thing like when I was growing up, it was like, where do you see Blackwell sing an opera? but to see my little girl grow up and think, oh, this, that's just normal, oh, I could do that if I want to, you know. With Deborah Cheatham giving us the opportunity to discover that voice um, has opened up a whole new world in um, passion for music, a passion for the arts, a passion for uh, great composers and a passion to perform at another level. There's, there's so much more positive things that, have, um, that are happening in my life now because I'm doing what I love to do. <laughs> Can you go?